Hello my soccer universe. The workday is finished, the weather outside is grey and annoying, the background here is blank. So I've decided, okay, I have a bunch of scarves here prepared. Let's put up scarves again and document the process. I just ahead before I will see how it goes. What I want to do is I want to at least have from each of the leagues that I'm covering I want to have a scarf up there. Uh, I have to decide on which one, although for two leagues it's pretty clear there will be Laska Milan. And you know, I don't have that many from other leagues as well, but I have from each of the eight leagues at least. Uh, and then let's see where it goes. Uh, ideally, I would like to be able to have a nice background even without the jerseys on there, so fill it all up. But I don't know how this will look like. I definitely will have to do, will be very mindful about this hole here. But I also have decided that on the wall here I will keep uh, much less scarves than I had before because it's, it just makes the room a little bit too dark. So having uh, the, bright, uh, the bright wall here reflecting down here actually is an improvement too. So again, let's see where all of this will be going. I will do it in a time-lapse video and yeah, I'll take those short downs. I will put the scarves up, then we'll talk about it and then um, we'll take it from uh, there and we'll see about the result. So this is the final result. You saw my daughter was helping me. It was a little bit going back and forth, but I think I've achieved what I wanted to have a background fully with scarves. So I don't necessarily always need to hang shirts uh, if I want to make a general point and so on. So that's also something nice. Gives me a little bit more flexibility. I also managed to add a few national teams, namely Italy, Netherlands, and the Austria Sweden scarf from a game that I very much love to remember from 97. Maybe the one thing that annoys me a little bit is this section here, but I had to have these scarves overlapping. And yeah, there's a team that is currently not first league with 1860 Munich, but you know, this is my only Dortmund scarf. And we have, we put in the, my daughter decided on a Stuttgart scarf right here. Um, two Barcelona teams in there, no Madrid team. Yeah, happened this way because my daughter said the Barcelona scarf and the, especially the Espanol scarf is a whole lot nicer. Uh, she also liked the Fulham one that I have, which is uh, from 2001, which I found uh, very uh, interesting. There are many more scarves and I think the setup also allows me now to uh, move scarves around if need be. So I might change it, although I don't think that the upper ones here, the uh, Lask, the Milan one, and maybe this Lask one here, those will definitely not change, as will the Milan flag and the Austria. I think these things will stay rather stationary. There are a few nice scarves. My daughter has nicely arranged them that I was hoping to fit somehow, but it will not. I have here a nice one from Bulgaria. Start Ren would have been cool to maybe add, you know, can always uh, change. Strasbourg, I have one old one. They're all around from the early to 2000. a very uh, Tottenham, a very uh, sober one. I have one Lazio scarf that I remember got at the railway station just before we left Rome because I already had the nice Roma scarf. Uh, the Atletico Madrid scarf, I honestly, I wanted to get rid of that one because it was so prominent in that corner. And I got really annoyed by Atletico Madrid, so this one uh, did not make it. Uh, the Real Madrid for now also, because it's, uh, let's put it, let's face it, it's not the nicest one. Then I have here an Australia one, which there are a lot of kangaroos on there. Australia. And then a few more. My first PSG scarf. Uh, then a Panathinaikos scarf, 
did not make it. I have this jersey. This was hanging on the wall for for one. I actually like the color combination of this, this one quite some. It might end up there. I have a West Ham one, but it's a very generic one. West Ham. Uh, then we have, of course, a Spain <coughs> scarf. And finally, a rather old Milan scarf, but I bought it in Milan. So, you know, uh, classic Italian scarf. So those did not make it, and then I had a few, but I'm not uh, too unhappy. Um, a few double, uh, two double scarves for Lusk, which I thought could uh, make it. The, you saw it in the video, and then it went down. It's the Lusk against uh, that uh, scarf, which is Euro uh, from Europe, the best thing that Lusk ever did. And then the last last game that I saw before I went to America or before I came came back was. 95 years Lusk against Roma so that I was hoping to maybe put up there as well and then of course I may still use this Lusk stuff may still go up here on the wall a little bit especially this one here I think is a really nice one so yeah <coughs> Let me know what you think about the new background. It will now feature in the videos at least until the end of the season. I may change around it. I may change a few scarves uh, as the season goes along when I see that certain teams don't deserve to be up there or not. All remains to be, to be seen. But that's what it will be. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think about my new background. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day.